Hey guys, thank you for joining the class again today. There's another independent horror, and I saw the trailer, and well, some critic in the trailer compared this to It Follows, so I definitely had to see this one. And did it live up to the hype? Yeah, a little bit. Hey guys, thank you for joining the class again today. I'm your host Marquise Underwood, and today I'll be reviewing Anguish, which is directed by Sonny Malhai, and it stars Ryan Simpkin. And this movie, honestly, it's just like a suspense thriller type of movie honestly with a little bit of demon s type of qualities in there and this movie honestly it was okay in my eyes i thought ryan simpkin did a good job of acting she was really believable i really wanted to know what was going on for her character because in this movie she plays this a uh, character who kind of has like an identity disorder or so and um it just so happens that her other identity may possess some type of demon or thing so you don't really want to have that exposed obviously and her this movie is really about that conflict of uh identity and just trying to not show that side honestly this movie had a lot of suspense and a lot of tension in my opinion i really felt the atmosphere was good um i think it could have been a little bit better but i thought it was really good um there's a lot of scenes where i just didn't want to look just because i thought something was going to pop up a lot of scenes you may see uh, shadows behind people and stuff like that with the character not knowing that there's shadows behind them. So I thought they did a good job with the whole suspense and tension feel. The acting was good too. I thought Ryan Simpkin did a good job. Uh, she kind of reminded me of Mika Monroe from It Falls. I thought she kind of possessed the same qualities that she did in that movie. I don't know if she saw it and was just trying to um, regurgitate it or so, but I thought she did a good job acting. Like I said earlier, I really care for her character really wanted to know what was going on. I really just wanted her to be able to live her life without having to have any conflict. So I think she did a good job of making you care for her, which she's supposed to do. But the last act of the movie to me, it kind of made the whole movie kind of fall off a little bit for me. Cause the last act kind of went from this tension, suspense thriller type thing to becoming like your typical demon possessed movie. Cause obviously the demon side, it gets out of her and it just became like a possession movie, like the exorcist kind of. And I didn't really like that aspect. I didn't feel like it fit with the other two thirds of the movie. And I just felt like it could have been done a lot better. It kind of felt cheap and just felt like a tactic just to maybe please those type of fans. With all that being said, I'm giving this movie a C plus, a 2.8 out of five. I do think it's worth your time watching, but um, I just feel like the last act kind of killed the movie a lot. And it is kind of repetitive, just a lot of walking around and you know waiting for something to appear even though nothing really does so like i said it's a good suspense good thriller i think it is for your watch i think you can rent it probably video on demand oh have you seen anguish if you have comment below and i want to know your thoughts what's the best independent horror movie you've seen in the past few years comment below again with your thoughts if you're new hit that subscribe button you know if everybody in the channel shares it i can possibly get another what was it 73 subscribers i have now so double that and i can possibly have that many in a week or so so just Share it, hit that subscribe button, let me know what you think, how I can better my channel. Again, I'm your host Marquise Underwood, and join the quest. Diablo, directed by Louis Rowick, and it stars Scott Eastwood, yes, Clint Eastwood.